Hey, what's up, my broke budget guys, gals, and ninjas? My name's Brittany, and today I'm gonna be showing you what is on my vision board. So when you're first starting out with a vision board, what you're actually gonna do first is you're actually gonna write down all your dreams in a dream journal. So these are all the things that you wanna achieve in life that are realistic to how life actually works. So if there's somebody out there who's already living your dream, then that is a realistic dream, um, even if it's something that seems far-fetched for you. So you're gonna write all those dreams down and then you're gonna pick your top dreams and put them on a vision board. What you're constantly seeing is what you're going to strive for. It's what you're going to work your way towards. You have to know where you're going in life because if you have no goals and no aspirations, you're gonna stay in the exact same spot that you are today. As human beings, we always want to strive for the next thing. We always want to push towards the next goal. So dreams just keep growing bigger and bigger as you go. And so because of that, you need to have a vision board because the vision board will show you where in life you want to go. Because you have to like consciously think about it and not just dream about it at night, not just daydream about it while you're at work or anything like that. You really need to have it in front of your eyes so that you can be working towards that. What I do on my vision board is I make sure that I not only have pictures so I can visually see what I want, but I also have um, note cards that say what my next action steps are to achieve that goal. So I've got like three on this one, three on this one. So I've got, majority of them have three, but this one has like five goals. Um, there's some over there that have like two goals. This is why I have a cork board is because I want to be able to change out my goals like because once I achieve a goal then I'm moving on to the next one and the next one and the next one until I achieve that entire goal. And then once I achieve that entire goal then I need to change it out with new goals, a new vision for my life because I've already reached that vision and now that I'm at that vision now I want to strive for either a new vision or furthering that vision. And so what this does is it is it programs your mind to think differently, to think like this is actually achievable. You have to believe that it's achievable before you can actually do it because otherwise you'll never take any action steps towards it because you're like, well, that's not achievable, that's not realistic, it's a weird dream in my mind, like, you know, I wanna own a Ferrari. That's a dream in the, in, you know, in the back of my mind, who knows, I'll never be able to do it, I'll never make enough money, etc. That is mentality thinking that will make it so that you don't get the Ferrari. But if you have it in front of your face and you're like, all right, what are the goals I need to achieve to get the Ferrari? Well, one of them would be saving. Maybe I just need to save all my money. Maybe I need to like increase my pay at my job or like move up in the company so that way I can afford a Ferrari. Well, then if you have those goals in mind, you'll start trying to achieve those goals. So how do I become a manager who makes enough to buy a Ferrari? Well, if I wanna become a manager, that means I need to be really good at the job that I do. Okay, let's improve how I do the job. And every chance you get to improve the way you work, do it. And then you have to apply, and then you have to apply to be a manager, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let's talk a little bit about what's on my vision board, just so you can get an idea of what a vision board looks like. We'll start on the far side that I can't really reach. Wow. <laughs> So over here, I have the goal to be more fit. I want to exercise more, and I have my goals listed out here. I have three of them. I talk about how I will follow the Chloe Ting workout challenge to basically lose weight and then gain abs, um, and I will stay consistent on waking up at 4.30 in the morning to work out every day, and that makes it so that I can work out before I go to work because once I go to work, and I come home, I crash, and I know that, and so for me, a realistic goal is actually to wake up earlier in order to do it. Next on our list, if we go down, we'll see that I have a savings goal. You'll see the money bag and then the uh, little pig. It's a cute little pig. So my goal is to try and pay off everything that we have by the December 2020. It is now July 2020, um, and we are on goal to be paying off almost all of our debt by December. We have some debt that we're not actually gonna be paid, paid off until April. So if we want this goal to come true, we really, really have to hustle hard and make extra money on side hustles in order to reach the goal of December 2020. But I think that we realistically, we can do it if we focus our attention and everything into it. So that is one of it. And then after that, um, start saving paychecks starting on January 2021. Only live off of lose paycheck. So basically, 
we're going to use my entire paycheck to save money instead of using his. And we're actually already at that goal. And this just goes and proves how vision boards actually work because we had the goal to live off of his paycheck only and then for my paycheck to be going into savings and going towards debt. I didn't expect to get that so soon, to be honest, but we actually hit that goal this month. We now can live entirely off of his paycheck and my paycheck can go towards debt and savings. I'm gonna quickly run through my other ones because I don't want this video to be too long, but I have the goal to finish writing the book that I'm currently writing. I'm like more than halfway through it. Um, and then I ha we have the goal, um, both of us combined have the goal of we want a nicer house. Um, our house is wonderful and honestly, I could live here for y many years. I don't mind that, um, but it would be nice to have a larger house and it would be nice to um, have a swimming pool because that would be awesome um, and live in a warmer climate than we do. Um, we live in Minnesota so it's like really freezing like majority of the year. And then we, I've also got this one up here which is partially because I do like the look of the living room. I love how it's big and spacious. That's one of the things I want in a house is a big and spacious living room. Our living room's weird because it's L-shaped and it drives me crazy because like the way we have to organize the furniture and everything I just feel like it's really awkward and weird. And so I wanted like a big square or rectangle living room instead of like an L shape. So I would love to get a house that has that. And then also I would love to keep my house clean. That's the other reason I have that picture there. One day I want to be considered a minimalist where I have very little in my house um, so that it looks big and open and clean like all the time with very little actual cleaning having to happen. And then we also, we have the combined goal of wanting to have a child. We have not tried to get pregnant yet, but that's because we wanted to get out of debt and we wanted to be in a good financial situation before we had a child and in God's timing and in, in the right timing for us as a family. So that is our plan is to have a child, um, but not quite yet. We also have on here um, the closets. We want to finish the closets. We want them to be done. And so what I have on here is I have two different pictures of my closets. The first one was the closets when we first moved in and oh my goodness were they awful. Like I'm talking like really, really bad. They had, um, so part of the problem with the closets is that they have slanted ceilings. Um, we have four different closets. They're all upstairs and they all have slanted ceilings. And so it's really hard to get in them and all this stuff. But the worst part about it was like how they looked and how they felt and all this stuff. So when we first moved in, there was insulation um, we had, I don't know what it's called, but we had like this shiny insulation on the top part and then we had like, um, just the regular pink insulation on the bottom and the pink insulation was full of bat guano because we had bats when we first moved into this house. I'll probably make another video on that one because that one was an adventure. The hardwood floors were not nice hardwood floors. They were like really nasty, badly stained, water damaged, bad, just bad, very bad. And so, um, and then there was nails sticking out of the ceiling, like trying to hold up the, the shiny insulation. And like they were sticking out of the ceiling and falling down. And so like if you tried to get in there, like you would, you would cut your back on it. So that's how we started off with the closets. And now the closets are carpeted. They have in proper insulation. They have uh, sheetrock up, we've painted, and we just put in the baseboards this last week and I painted the baseboards. So now we're looking at a closet that's pretty much finished. The only thing we have left for the closets is to put up shelving. We've been working on these closets for the last couple years, slowly working on them, partially because we need the money to buy the materials and stuff like that. But because it's been on the vision board, we actually increase the progress so fast. We ran into a problem with the carpet and the carpet was like, we bought it and we bought just enough for two of the closets, but not all four of them. And we were like, well, I guess we have to wait. We don't have the money for the rest of it. I really want to buy it, but I don't want to go into further debt. So we're just going to wait. And so we waited and God provided it. We were able to get the carpet from my boss. Yeah which is really weird and, and really random, isn't it? My boss actually had carpet that matched our carpeting upstairs and he gave it to us for free. We didn't have to pay him anything. He had it in his basement rolled up for years apparently and he just wanted it out of his house. So he was like, somebody come pick it up for free. He posted it on Facebook. I saw it and was like, hey, 
listen, can I have it? And like, he was like, yeah, I'd rather go to somebody I know. Here, yeah, I'll take it. And so it was great. Um, and it actually finished both closets and we had some scraps left over that we were able to put in our basement. So it was perfect and God provided for that. And because it's on my vision board and everything, I think that's why we made a lot of progress with the closets. So you may have noticed uh, my husband's dreams down here. He's got a kayak in, in a picture and then we've also got a truck over in the bottom corner and uh, the United States here. These are his dreams. So his dreams are to go fishing more often, to go fishing with our kid when we have a kid. His dreams are to go fishing all around the United States. He wants to fish in every single state. And so that's his dream and he's got dreams and goals on here about like how long it's going to take him to do the research, how long it's going to take him to get the materials together, etc. So he's got all that stuff down. And then the truck, he has goals and dreams about what kind of truck he wants. This is probably the exact truck he wants. He wants a Toyota. He wants it to be a blue truck. And then up in the corner, we have the YouTube thing. Um, I love YouTube. It has always been a dream of mine to be a YouTube star. I've always wanted to go viral. I've always wanted to be a YouTube star. And part of, and like, it's not even about, you know, selfishness that I wanna be a YouTube star or being vain or anything like that. It's literally because I love to make people laugh. I love to teach people. And I would love to do that for others. And so because I have that uh, servant's heart where it's I want to help other people all the time, YouTube is just a fantastic way to help others that want to learn. It makes me feel like I'm fulfilling my goal in life um, when people are learning and I'm doing things that help others. And so I also have some inspirational things um, on here. This is actually a Bible verse from Matthew. It says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives and for the one that seeks finds and the one who knocks it will be open. And so the reason why I have this on here is just to remember that God wants to give us good things. God wants to help us fulfill our visions. He gives us our dreams and our goals as long as they're not fleshly goals. So if we ask him and we repeatedly ask him even, he will give us the things that we need and things that we want. That is part of what this vision board is about. The vision board, I can see what I want, I can see where I'm going, I can see my next action steps on this vision board, and then I can also pray about it. I can pray over each one and say, Lord, will you please help me achieve this? Will you please bring this into my life, etc. And so that is part of the reason why you want to have a vision board. We try to put dates and goals um, that or dates that we want to achieve the goals or dates that we want to achieve each action step. Um, so that way it's a little bit more achievable and broken down more. But by putting the pictures in front of your eyes and saying like one day I will do this and speaking it into your life as well as praying about it and saying, Lord, would you allow this to be in my life? That will help you achieve your goals and your dreams. So if you have a vision board or if you're starting a vision board, let me know down in the comments and also let me know like what your dreams are. What are you planning on doing? Hit like on this video and hit subscribe for more videos like this one. Ninja Lifioso.